Hill Kirk Young here from LearningGolf.tv. Today I'm going to hit a couple of lob shots for you. Uh, you can see I have a bunker here, uh, and the green doesn't start till about uh, six yards from the hole. Uh, so I don't have a lot of room, and it's a little bit downhill. So it's requiring me to hit a fairly high shot in there. I have a pretty good lie here, which is obviously a requirement uh, for hitting a lob shot. So if your ball was sitting on hard pan, it's not something that I would attempt. Uh, but here, it's sitting on a little bit of grass. I'm going to open the club face a little bit here. I have a 64 degree wedge that I'm going to be hitting. That's the Phil Mickelson uh, Callaway wedge that came out this year, 2019. And basically all I'm going to do, using my setup for impact setup, which has the club on the same plane as my arm, which makes this shot a whole lot easier. Uh, and that's what I teach basically in my schools and in my learning program. And basically from this setup, it's just turn back and turn through trying to have a synchronized body motion, turning and turning to keep the hands out of the shot. So the main thing, turn back, turn through, try to pick a swing that's going to be uh, the same that you need for the shot. And once you feel comfortable with it, go ahead and just repeat it with the ball. It should work like that. You probably quit there. It's about three feet from the hole. That was a perfect lob shot. You know, if you have any questions about this, put it in the comment box below. Also, uh, please click the red subscribe button below to get notified as new videos come out. Uh, I cover all aspects of the game. So again, the club face is a little bit open. If you have a 60 degree wedge, you might have to open it a little bit more. Uh, that also requires a little bit better lie. Uh, simply as you open the club face, there tends to be more bounce coming into play. So you need to make sure the ball's sitting up a little bit or with the sand, which I recommend if you're able to hit decent pitch shots that you do uh, get yourself a 60. And if you're good with a 60, a 64 comes in handy, especially when uh, the greens are fast. That one came up a little bit short. which is something that can happen here. I'd rather try to be more aggressive on this shot. That one I didn't repeat my swings, my practice swing. So it's hard and you really need to force yourself like in the bunker to be aggressive. That would be good. And I just judge that's what I want and go to the ball. That was pretty good. Almost made it. So. It's important to be aggressive on the shot. You need to be able to hit the ground in the right spot, so under the ball consistently before you start attempting this shot. Otherwise, play a normal pitch shot and let the ball roll a little bit past the hole. Uh, you should practice this shot. It's also uh, very close to the same technique that we would use in the bunker. So again, uh, visit learninggolf.tv uh, for info on my inexpensive membership program that also allows you to send in videos for my review and get more information on my schools, uh, which are in West Palm Beach, Cincinnati, and North Carolina. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.